Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now we have a requested build here. It's an updated Mammoth Swine. We've gone with the Ice Type Terror, the Held Item Shell Bell to restore health, the more damage we deal. Max EVs and HP and attack, the Adamant Nature, Max IVs and everything except Special Attack. The ability Thick Fat, which halves the damage from Fire and Ice Type moves. So when we terrestrialize or just in general, we are an Ice Type Attacker. So half damage from Fire Type moves is great. That means that it's like a neutral kind of thing. Uh, we have Avalanche, does 120 damage every time, pretty much, because the raid is probably going to attack us. And when we've already taken damage, because it's a minus one priority move, then it's pretty much guaranteed to go after whatever they use, because raids don't really have priority moves. Uh, that, that often, anyway. So it'll be at 120 damage all the time. Curse, raises our attack and defense, lowers our speed, because we're not a ghost type. Very good move. Amnesia, also a very good move, raises our special defense, that's to protect us against those physical special attackers, sorry. And then we have Mud Slap, in case there's any more shenanigans going on, we can lower accuracy, so they're more likely to miss. Let's get into a raid. So who do we have? We have 6 star, Dragon type, Skarmory. Now, it's super effective against us being a Steel type, but it has weak armor, so one good thing, one bad thing, let's see how it goes. We have an Intimidate user, great. That'll protect us. And we also have a Gardevoir that could have that could be using life juice, so that's amazing. Look at look at our Mama Swine, the furry boy. Torn, who's it using that on? Is it using it on us? Uh I did use it on us. 25% chance to hit everyone and it hits us. I guess we're just gonna start off with avalanches. Uh, instead of curses to increase our defense. I did want to increase our defense, but because of weak armor, then we can just afford to keep attacking. But I did, just for safety, I wanted the extra defense. We get a little bit of health back. Okay, weak armor increases its speed, so it uses steel. Oh, it misses us, so we don't get the double damage. Boo, you can at least hit us. We do a bit more damage, lower its defense even more because of weak armor. Honestly, weak armor is like when there's a raid, a raid boss, six star raid, and they have weak armor. For physical attackers, it's literally just a free win, really. It's amazing. Unless it does that, all raid. There are some raids who do do that, all raid. Uh, I think I have to attack once more. Steel Wing, that's fine. We're going to use Avalanche. Oh, Steel Wing can lower defense, right? We use Avalanche, get defense down a bit more. Speed won't go any higher. Yeah, it's on max speed right now. So now we can use Curse. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have Taunt just in general. So I am going to use Curse because it's doing a decent amount of damage to us and I don't like it. In Curse, we'll stay on plus one. I don't think we need to go any more than that just because it does have weak armor. So we're always lowering its defense. And when it uh, removes negative effects from itself, then we'll be on plus one and we'll still do a decent amount of damage enough to heal back the damage that we have put from stealing more than likely. But let, let's just go and find out. We're going to terrestrialize here. We are now an ice type. Okay, we'll, we should do a lot of damage. I mean, the Pokemon on our team, one of them is a physical attacker. So it's like we can get its defense down times two every turn if it does use uh, some attacking moves. Let's see how much damage we do. Boom. Well, that's a lot of damage. As you can see right there, we did a ton of damage. Scamry, don't remove negative effects from yourself. I like where you're at right now. We should be able to finish you next shot if you don't. Oh, oh I thought I did. Okay. Put his shield up. Do we still finish it off? I guess we'll see. Oh, no. It's nullified. Never mind, eh? But... Oh, I in defense as well to remove some of the defense drops that it's had with its, what's it called? Weak armor. There we go. It just weak armored twice. Is someone else? She, oh, Clodzai is using poison jab. You know what? I had no idea. I thought it was a, I thought it used special attacking moves as an AI. Boom. We do some damage. The Avala, uh, the I in defense saved it. Next turn though, it's mine. Unless it removes negative effects. We are in full health though. We're in no danger. Use your steel wing. Do do what you want. Do what you want. There we go. Steel wing. Boom. Drop our defense. No. Okay. And then we get him with the avalanche and we finish the raid off. Beautiful. Load the time remaining. 
pretty easy raid for Mama Swine. Hopefully the next one's a bit more challenging. Not too challenging though, like uh, I think if we run into a, like maybe a Mianfu or something like that, it'll be a bit scary. But, oh, not Mianfu, Mian Shao. Is that the evolved version? Well, let's just move on to the second raid after we find out whether we get Mystic or not, do we? No, okay. Okay, so the raid is in Kitakami, so there is a chance that it could be Mian Shao. Hopefully that's not the case. Please no. Okay, Bashki Legion. Ghost and Wall Attack, that's fine. Let's uh, six star Dragon Tide Bashki Legion. Let's see how it goes. We have a Gardevoir, we are safe. Gardevoir heals all. Honestly, when I get a Gardevoir and a Drifflim against Physical Attacker, I'm like, yep, move them. Okay, so. Uh, should we use Mud Slot? Just, just get on its nerves a bit. Boom. You know. It's going to use Icy Wind at the start. I, it's going to miss. Ah, oh, it's missed a scary face already. Easy. Okay, I'll use another one. Oh, Icy Wind, does it miss us? It does miss us, you know, planned. I want to use uh, another Mud Slap, just because Wave Crash can get pretty scary. Even though we have Curse. But, you know, we're scared of them, Chris. We're going to use Mud Slap. There we go. Okay, so critical hit, damn. Even though it won't do that much, but still nice to get a crit. Scary face. Oh, I thought he missed again. Scary face doesn't bother me. We're gonna make ourselves slower anyway. I'm gonna use. We're still faster. Is someone else slowing this Pokemon down? Because that's crazy. We use Charm to increase our attack and defense. Wave Crash. Oh, it hits anyway. So. Okay, I've completely forgot we was weak against water type moves. That's a scary thought. Okay. Life due for the rescue. God of War. Love ya. We use another curse to increase our attack and defense. We can't still be slower than this thing. I'm checking its stats after this. Uh, we increase our attack and defense again. Scary face, you miss. Avoided it. Easy. Mud slap for the win. Okay, let's see. Because I'm curious. It's on minus two speed. Who's dropping its speed? Maybe Haxorus? We're just going to start attacking. Wave crash? How dare you? You dare hit me. Oh, actually. I suppose a mud slap isn't a good move to use now I think about it. Because you're making it more likely to miss. And if it misses, then you don't get the double damage on Avalanche. We'll have a look after this to see if there's a better move. Oh, I should have just, uh, I should have stressed Yeah, we might change the, uh, the build at the end to <clears throat> uh, swap out mud slap for something else. We'll see what we've got. So avalanche, boom. Did I forget to terrestrialize again? We should terrestrialize because wave crash is super offensive against us unless we do terrestrialize. I hope it doesn't nullify. I want to get to terrestrialize state before it nullifies. Well, I just won't speak out loud next time. Oh, we can terrestrialize and then use curse. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So we can terrestrialize before he attacks because it just terrestrializes itself. God of War using some good uh, life dues then. Okay. Okay, we are terrestrialized. It uses a wave crash. Does a lot of damage. It does quite a lot of damage actually. We use curse. Is that going to be enough? I feel like too safe, but I don't want rain dance to come up before we. If we. If rain dance. Could, yeah. Okay. We don't use two. We just keep using. What's it called? Oh, Life Dew Hero. We use two. God of the Hero. It might have got a little bit sticky there. If. But. Oh, that's still a lot of damage. If uh, Gadawa didn't use Life Dew, we would have just used. What's it called? Avalanche and just kept using it on plus one. It probably would have been enough because Avalanche is a very strong move. We get healed again off Gardevoir. Gardevoir. Please be in all my raids. We got a love of Gardevoir. Honestly, bold shout right now. Gardevoir, best AI to get. Best NPC. It's close between Gardevoir and Drifflin though. <clears throat> Boom. Because Gardevoir can heal you when their shield is up. Drifflin can't use will while well, their shield is up. So Gardevoir's the winner. Let me know what your favorite AI, AI is to get on the team. Whether it's an Intimidate user 
whether it's Gardevoir, Drifling, would love to know. Okay, whether it's our Bolivar because of the grassy terrain, boom, we take down the shield. Excuse me. We get some good health back, boom, we're nearly on full health. What's he going to use? Oh wait, he already attacked. So uh, the shield does break. Amazing. He nullifies us. That's honestly not really bothered anymore about nullified because we get a free attack here. It's going to do decent damage because of how strong Avalanche is. Boom. Okay, did less than I thought it would. But next turn we win. Oh yeah, it didn't do double damage, did it? Because uh, he didn't attack us because that was a free turn. So uh, he's going to use Wave Crash and then we'll finish it. I completely forgot about that. Okay, that's fine. We will just finish it right here and Avalanche. Boom. The snow comes down and destroys this fish. The fish. Hopefully we get a few missed here because this guy, this little fish, he may not look like much. Actually, he looks quite grumpy, looks quite scary. But he does drop every single Mystica. So I would love to get some of those. Watch now, we'll get none because we disrespected the fish. Let's see, please. Wow, that's disrespectful. Okay, let's check out this mud slap. I didn't quite pin that through, did I, with a mud slap and avalanche uh, counteracts in each other? So what we're going to do is remember move. We're going to see if we have anything missed. Uh, the user closes itself and its allies in a white mist that prevents any of their stats from being lowered for five turns. That's a good shout. Powder Snow, Ancient Fang, Ancient Power, Ice, Ancient Fang. That sounds like a pretty cool move, though. Let's see what TMs we can learn. And some Snowscape. Snowscape? No, we don't really need Snowscape because we have Curse. We have Rock Blast, Rock and Head Substitute, a Power. Okay. We don't need, we don't really need any. So, last minute change. I'm sorry, guys, but if you if you made it uh, to where we did say something about the one of the moves, then you're a go. Let's see. So, we're going to use Mist. So, we can use this if the other Pokemon has some that can lower our stats, which is amazing. Uh, and it's always why Mist prevents any of their stats from being lowered for five turns. Wait, can we use Mist with Curse? I'm going to test it real quick. So, uh, let me just fight a Timber. <clears throat> I'm going to test it real quick. You know, you're witnessing testing in the making. So, we use Mist. That prevents any of our stats from being... Hey, Growlithe, get out of the video. This isn't about you. This is about Timber. Superpower, wow. That did a lot of damage. Growlithe, leave. Get down, dog. Try and, try and get in the video. This is about Mama Swine and Timber. Curse. Okay. Okay, so we can use Curse. Speed fell. Attack increased. Defense increased. Okay, we can use Mist and Curse together. I didn't know whether it would fail or not because uh, Mist stops any of our stats from being lowered. But Curse lowers one of our stats. So that's interesting to know for the future. But that's going to be our Mama Swine build. If you want to check out the last build that we did, it was actually a build showcased by Unknown. I'll put it on screen right now. It's a Toxicroak. Smash the like button if you have enjoyed this video. It does go a long way. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more builds. And this Growlithe. See you on the next one.